What's going on YouTube? It is Tuesday night here in Miami Beach. I'm just taking Knight the Doberman here on his last walk of the night. It's about 11.40 p.m. It's a beautiful night. Probably 80, 85 degrees, but with a little breeze. We're gonna go out on the boardwalk because that's our favorite, favorite place to walk. He loves the beach, but at least on our property, the boardwalk is where it's at. And we do have some little fake beach areas where they have sand brought in and some chairs where you can chill and look at the views of the city but I'm about a mile from the actual beach here Knight is such a good boy he's uh, almost two years old he'll be two in June come on and uh, he yeah, loves going out on the boardwalk Tomorrow, I am supposed to go back to Boston for the first time since I moved down here two and a half years ago. It'll be cool to see family. My brother's graduating from college. He goes to school at a college called Emmanuel, and it is in Boston. That's why I'm going there. And then my girlfriend, Katie, she has a appointment procedure in Boston on Friday, so I'm going with her to that because I'm a good boyfriend and I'm there to support her. But I really don't even want to go. I mean, my life has changed so drastically since moving here. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. I'm happy. I love the weather. I love the people. I'm just building the life of my dreams and just having so much fun here. It's just, uh, it's really not real life here in Miami Beach, and I feel like Boston's just kind of shitty. Just like reminds me of the past, and I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me. But putting yourself in a proper environment is really the just way to completely change everything in your life. So I just feel we are going back to like an environment that I've moved on from. Um, so I still haven't checked in for my flight because. I don't know what the plan is. Come on, Nick. Come on. We'll see. I don't know. Knight also, uh, he's supposed to come with me. He's a service animal. And unfortunately, for my flight on... Wednesday, tomorrow, uh, they didn't have, they only had the middle seat available on the eighth row, which is the first row behind first class. And same with my flight back, they only had the eighth row middle seat available. And I'm flying with my girlfriend Katie too, and Knight loves Katie. He's honestly, he's more attached to Katie than he is to me. Well, I don't know about that. He's more protective of Katie than he is of me. Um, he like, just recently has started to get just as excited to see her as he is to see me. It used to be he'd wake up in the morning and he would stay on the couch if she would wake up before me. Come on, Knight. He would stay on the couch and he wouldn't really get up to see her and then I would wake up and he'd just go crazy and come over and jump on me and uh, zoom. He'd go crazy, come over, and he'd be so happy to see me, and he wouldn't really do that to her. But lately, he's been uh, super excited to see her. He'll jump on her when she comes in. He'll jump on her when she wakes up. And then he's just ultra protective of her. Um, he really loves her, and I, I like that because I also love her. And it's good when uh, your dog knows what's up and will have her back. Come on. Because... Uh, Never know, especially with girls. It's a dangerous world out here. And uh, so it's good to have a monster Doberman to have your back and protect you. And that's all Knight does. He just protects the people he loves. And uh, it's great having someone to have your back. So uh, I'm flying with Katie. And since there's only a eighth middle row, middle seat open on the eighth row, uh, he 
would be all weirded out if me and him were up in the eighth row and she was somewhere else on the plane, like in first class, because that's where she usually sits. Um, he'd be looking for her. He'd be probably tweaking a little bit. So the flights that I have, me and her can't sit together with him. So as of now, I'm planning on leaving him here in Miami Beach, and I'm leaving him with dog sitters who, like, may or may not do a good job and it's just weird I've never left him alone he's my boy and I'd love to bring him to Boston so I may shorten my trip I may not go not really sure what I'm gonna do and my brother's coming down here he's the one graduating and he's coming down to Miami Beach on Monday of next week so um, I don't know maybe I don't even need to go but she has that appointment I want to be there to her for that um, it's funny, a lot of guys, they they scheme it on her, they uh, tweak about her. She's uh, pretty damn sexy, so I don't blame them, but she's seeing a male doctor who she hasn't met yet, and she'd like me to be there. So I'm gonna go with her and have her back and make sure everything goes as planned. Um, it's definitely funny dealing with the jokesters who chase her around. Um, there's a funny story the other night. She had uh, a fan who was uh, wishing her a happy birthday and he called her baby. So I, I had the pleasure of responding. We were at the bar together, we were partying at the night before her birthday. Well, I guess the morning of her birthday. And we were both uh, feeling it and thought it'd be hilarious for me to have a conversation with this kid. So I just absolutely lit him up. And that kid's gonna have flashbacks and nightmares about what I did to him probably forever I don't think I'll ever forget what I did to him and I may end up posting the screen recording of the texts soon on my YouTube we'll see um, but yeah I clown the kid absolutely clown the kid I don't think there's any coming back from that and uh, I've recently been doing that with some other guys have been hitting her up so it's uh, the Grim Reaper meme just door after door just killing them off and I've been, been having a good time with it. But yeah, me and Katie, we, uh, we have a great relationship and we've been having an absolute blast here in Miami Beach. Uh, her birthday was Sunday and I think we partied for a whole week straight uh, to celebrate and she said it was the best birthday of her life. So can't, uh, can't complain. Definitely good to make people feel good about themselves and have a good time in the process. You know, you can poop boy. Gonna drop a dookie. But yeah, we had a blast. We did Smith and Walensky's, I think, three nights. We did Catch Miami Beach. It's a new uh, seafood restaurant. We just came here. City. They have one in Vegas. I've been to the Vegas one twice. I've been to the New York City one. And we hit the Miami Beach one. The third night open. It opened Friday. And we went on Sunday. And uh, yeah, we did Smith and Lenski's three times last week. Uh, we've been going to this place called Bodega. It's a taco place, but they have a bar and club. And we've been going there multiple nights a week. We're regulars there. So we've been having a blast and I didn't drink for a year and a half. So um, it's definitely a change of pace for me, but we've been networking and meeting some really cool people. I'm just having a blast, having a lot of fun and loving life. So I don't uh, regret any minute of it. I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me. And right now it's just a little party phase and just rolling with it, but I'm still staying healthy, still doing my workouts, still eating clean. I uh, try to take nights off from drinking and partying and um, results, results on the year. It's only up for us, but you also got to go with the flow, roll with the tides. And uh, for a while, I was just being super serious about my results in my life. Uh, I wasn't really having any fun. So it's been cool to switch it up and it's probably the best place in the world to be to have fun in South Beach. Um, just plenty of shit to do, the dopest restaurants, the coolest clubs, coolest performers, most beautiful people, most successful people in the world have been moving here. 
So it's just great getting out. We, uh, one of the nights here at Smith and Walensky's, we met the owners of the whole chain. They also, I think it's the PPX group. They also own Strega in Boston, a bunch of other big restaurants. So we met the owners there. Uh, we also, a couple weeks back, we're chilling with Colby Covington, the UFC fighter. Um, there's been some other big people we've came into contact with recently and can't do that stuff unless you're out and about uh, networking. So could be in bed at 10 or I could be out at 12.30 at Smith & Walensky's meeting the owners. So I'm kind of happy with the way things have been going. And uh, if any of you want to work with me, send me a DM. We've got started, get you on a program, change up everything for you, get you super healthy and dialed in. Hope you all have a great night. Talk to you later.